everybody in today's video we're going to be looking at the two sunscreens by la roche posay one is the anthelios invisible fluid and then the other one is the anthelios invisible spray that comes in a 200 ml the invisible fluid comes in a 50 ml they're both spf 50 we are going to be doing this review just for you to see how they apply on darker skin we are not going to go into great detail in terms of the filters of the two sunscreens because there is a youtuber by the name of pharmacy and makeup whom i believe did an excellent job in breaking down the filters for these two sunscreens she let us know what filters are present in the one and what filters are not present in the other i think if memory serves she said the there's only two sunscreens that are not present in the invisible fluid that are present in the invisible spray but otherwise every everything else remains the same in terms of the filters but i will link the, the i will put the link to her channel in the description box so that you can check out that video in case you are looking for that sort of information you know when we talk about filters it gets a bit scientific -y and i'm just better off letting you go over there and check it out <laughs> instead of me misleading you and giving you the wrong information the invisible fluid will set you back 270 rands or 289 rands depending on where you buy it and then the invisible spray will set you back 380 rands again depending on where you buy so it's more or less 110 rands more when you compare it to the invisible fluid but i don't think that's too much of an issue because you are getting 200 mils of product with the invisible spray and you're only getting 50 mils with the invisible fluid so without wasting any more time my name is Tavi. if you're seeing me for the very first time thank you so much for joining me and thank you so much for tuning in i hope you get what it is that you came here for let's get on with this both these sunscreens are shaped to activate the brand calls it the sugar protected i don't know where you, they got that sugar protected <laughs> but that's what they call it they're both shaped to activate the invisible fluid comes in a, a nozzle type of applicator. Let me come close so that you can see. It's a nozzle type of applicator. And when you look at the texture, it's slightly thicker. Oh, my camera is not focused. When you look at the texture, it's slightly thicker than the texture of the invisible spray, which I'm going to show you now. I think, I'm, let me just show you on my neck because I struggle with getting my palm to focus on the lens i'm going to show you on my neck the differences in the two in terms of the texture so this 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 is the invisible fluid let me show you the spray quickly let me come close let me come close and okay <laughs> okay i i also didn't get this right uh Okay, I didn't get the spritz quite right, but the invisible fluid, the texture is a lot thicker than the invisible spray, but I'm guessing that's because you have to be able to get the product out of the nozzle for the invisible spray. So maybe that's why it's a lot more liquidy and runny in texture when you compare it to this. You see this one it takes its time, but the invisible fluid is just a lot runnier than this one. It also, this invisible fluid also takes longer to blend into your skin but you're gonna see just now when we apply it onto my face so i'm just gonna go to one two on the right part of my brain as you can see you can see she is just she's not as runny she's taking her time if that was the invisible spray <laughs> <Invisible spurt. laughs> spray it would have been running down my neck already i don't usually apply the sunscreen this way and i don't recommend that you do but because i want you to see this i'm just gonna spritz it directly onto my face so this is the invisible fluid spray so you can see you can see her go she is very keen to get to where she's going so now i have nothing on my hands and we are just gonna rub the two in if i can get the lens to focus okay sorry i kept looking at the <laughs> the viewfinder i did not put a mirror on next to the camera so as far as the application of both the the invisible fluid is quick to get absorbed into the skin then the invisible spray the invisible spray is quite watery so it, it takes its time but that's not a big deal for me my my main goal is to have the sunscreen absorb 
onto my face. <laughs> I don't think I applied enough. I'm gonna need to apply a bit more so that it covers the nose because this is a sunscreen I'm gonna be wearing for the day. So let's just let's just reapply. Let's just put add a little bit more product. both sunscreens are looking like on first application so this is the side with the invisible spray this is my cheek this is my eye area this is my forehead and the hairline this is the ear everything is blended in and these are the creases of my neck my lens is very wide so it's very difficult to work with it I'm struggling to work with it so anyways this is the side with the invisible fluid this is my cheek my no my <laughs> my nose <laughs> my ear this is my hairline you can't even see and i can't see whether you can see anyways everything is blended in and this is how the rest of my face looks I hope you can see that. I hope you can see that, but we'll see in post-production. Anyways, let's talk about these both sunscreens. In terms of the application of both sunscreens, they both apply seamlessly onto the screen and they both <coughs> onto the skin and they both get absorbed onto the skin relatively quick. But the invisible fluid is gonna get absorbed quicker as you have seen. Both have no white cast and they both form this protective film that i guess is what you're looking for in a sunscreen that protective film becomes very very difficult to remove with just a plain cleanser in the evening so you do need to use your double cleanse method or a stronger cleanser when not a giant cleanser but a stronger cleanser when you're removing both these sunscreens the invisible fluid is slightly less glossier when you compare it to the invisible spray the invisible fluid whilst it's not matte I feel like the gloss is what many people with oily skin would be a lot more comfortable with than what when you compare it to the invisible spray. The invisible spray would work perfectly with people with dry skin. However, I would say if you are one who's just looking to spend money on sunscreen once and get sunscreen, a sunscreen that will work and last you a long time and you have oily skin, it is, it is worth trying out and seeing if it works for you. Unfortunately, I only have, I, only, I can only speak from a perspective of someone with dry skin, but I don't think it would be too much of a problem. The sheen that is, if you are, have oily skin and perhaps use, use makeup. There is actually a video on pharmacy and makeup channel as well, where she brought in her friend who had oily skin who used the sunscreen and she they also broke down how it performed throughout the day on someone with oily skin so with oily skin people you'd have to try it out yourself the sunscreen will not sting your eyes at all as you saw when i was applying i've used the invisible fluid this is the second time i'm purchasing the, the sunscreen and then the invisible spray is a relatively new purchase but i've used it over I think two weeks that I feel that it, it, it it's sufficient to come and tell you about it both sunscreens have no white cast and both sunscreens will not peel on your skin whether or not you've used a moisturizer with the invisible fluid I find that it's slightly less moisturizing for my dry skin compared to the invisible spray so with the invisible fluid I always have to wear a moisturizer underneath but with the invisible spray I don't necessarily have to do that because it is quite moisturizing on its own however you will have to determine whether or not you're gonna use a moisturizer underneath any of these sunscreens looking at the how your skin feels on any given day however I didn't find any problem with it either one of the two I just felt like the anthelios fluid was slightly less moisturizing so i do prefer using a moisturizer with that sunscreen both sunscreens are excellent under makeup i did use i did use both sunscreens and wore makeup and i just don't have 
the footer to show you but both are very good under makeup they have a tacky a tacky texture so they do the makeup really does apply well over it i'm just not sure about reapplication looking at the texture of both i think it, it it's just gonna be tricky it's just gonna be tricky and in fact reapplication with sunscreen is always better when you're using a spray so yeah no i really wouldn't i, I wouldn't recommend it i think there's also another youtuber who did a a wet test with the invisible fluid and they didn't have good results in her in terms of reapplication over makeup with this invisible fluid whether they use their hands or whether they use the 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 makeup applicator a sponge that round sponge powder i don't even know what it's called but no i i just i don't think it's it's possible looking at the texture of it but again it's something that you would have to try out and see if it works for you is the sunscreen sweat proof the sunscreen i f I'm, I'm a sweater you guys i'm a sweater i think i've said this once before on the channel i'm a sweater and i don't think that i no, i didn't have issues with sweating with both these sunscreens even under my makeup you know no not under my makeup under my mask you know when we wear a mask there is <laughs> and we breathe into the mask we can sometimes sweat underneath the mask i didn't find that i had problems with that as much as i have with other sunscreens and wherever i sweated because i do work in the kitchen so i'm bound to sweat and i do run around a lot so wherever i did sweat the, the when when the sweat dried down the sunscreen was the sunscreen film <laughs> was not distracted was not distracted so these two sunscreens in my opinion are very good and you can you can you won't go wrong with either one of them you just have a look at what it is that you want to achieve at that time if you are a if you're looking like i said before if you're looking to buy a sunscreen once and have it last you a long period then the invisible spray is for you given of course that it performs well on your skin and your skin type and if you are that top if you are the like no sleep boss <laughs> next play another play kind of girl then you may want to look into getting the invisible fluid because it comes in a nice compact size but for me i'm gonna go with the invisible spray and i'm gonna keep buying the invisible spray because of the price and the size of the product that i get and like i said paying 110 rands more for the invisible spray is not really a big deal for me considering that i'm getting 200 mils of product but if 308 is still out of your budget don't worry i will bring you much much more options that are for both face and body that would be within your price range and i will test them thoroughly and then i will come back and break them down in terms of all your concerns as a consumer of sunshine and as a dark skin girl so i hope this was useful for you thank you so much for joining me everybody have a lovely day